Hi, it's Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas. And today is one of my favorite times of the month. It's the first Thursday of July. So it's time to introduce a new featured stamp set. And this month we are working with Happiness About. I don't know if you can see that great, but I'll leave it on the table. So when I point you down, you'll see it then. I'm actually filming upstairs today, so my lighting is not completely set up for filming. But I'm going to do the best I can, and we are going to get started creating a new card with the happiness events. Right, I have to go over here. Make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. This is the Happiness Abound stamp set. And you will see there are a lot of floral images. And I love this font of all the sentiments. It's one of my favorites. So this is what we'll be using. And we are going to do a little bit of stamping. We're going to be doing a lot of die cutting. One of my favorite things about this suite was the designer series paper. And there are dies in the die cutting um, set that fit exactly with some of the floral images. So we'll be using that to cut those up. But I am going to go ahead and stamp a few. Just so you know, our card is hot dog style today, which is four and a quarter by 11. And then folded in half, it will make it a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. We're using fresh freesia. We're doing almost a monochromatic card today. It is um, purples, different shades of purples. I'm going to grab my little floral stamps that I'll be using. using both of the roses. And somewhere I have a stamp block, I know. Try to figure out where I put that. Because I do not want to use the one that's made to stamp my signature on the back. It's not my actual signature, but huh. Well, I have no idea what happened. Let me I'm looking around. I just used it last night. I was creating right here. This is what happens when you have a mess on your desk. There it is. Okay. So we'll start with this one. And... I'm probably going to stamp 
in Gorgeous Grape. And then I'm going to use the blender pen to pull some of the ink from the outline into the center of the flower. I also do not have my stamparatus up here. It's downstairs. Okay. Before I stamp any more and before this ink dries, I'm going to pull some of the ink from the edges into the center. This is an easy way to add some color to your stamped images. And then I'm going to do another one, just the same rows. And I will repeat the process. And even though there's some, a little shadow out here, I think it'll be fine once we add the color and use the dye to cut this out. It's a lot of the reason I like to um, stamp my images maybe on a separate piece of paper than my card base. Because if you mess up and you're not going to cut that off, you can flip the, that piece of paper over and stamp again. Or get a new piece of paper if you need to. And you have not ruined your card. I'm going to put the gorgeous grape away for a second. While I stamp the other one. Hi, Melinda. I am seeing your comments. I'm trying to answer. It's the blender pen that is pulling the color from the stamped images. That's called the blender pen. I'm going to use it again with the fresh freesia and I don't know if you noticed how I cleaned it off but I just wiped it on my grid paper until it came clear so now it's ready to pull some fresh freesia from the edges of the stamped image into the color. And Fresh Freesia is a pretty light color, so I don't know how well you can see it on um, the screen that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, but it is pulling a little bit of color. And I'm gonna do another one in the Fresh Freesia. Same thing that we did with the gorgeous grape 
roses. And then I'm going to pull up my Stampin' Cut and Emboss and we're going to cut these out. Now, if you don't have a die cutting machine, you most certainly could use scissors and fussy cut. Um, that's what we call it. Fussy cut the different images out of the designer series paper and your stamped images but the die cutting machine is way easier and there's the mini die cutting machine that would definitely fit these roses This is going to be fun and interesting. Because I don't, I wanted to open fully and not be sitting on anything. I don't really want you to only see this handle, but that looks like maybe that's what you're going to see. So you put in the base plate, which has a number one on it. And when you're doing dies, you put the die cutting plate with a number two. And then one of the cutting plates, which has a number three. And then you get your paper and your dies ready to go. I'm trying to figure out what I did with my dies. That's not it. They're over here. Okay. And then, there are some really cool dies in here. I can't wait to show you this month. But I am grabbing the ones that go with these stamped images. And I did spend a lot of time one day just cutting random flowers out of my designer series paper. But I'm out of the purple ones. I've used them up. So we're going to cut some of those today. And I'm going to move my roses and then scoot my frames over. It is time to pull out my designer series paper and get some of those flowers cut out. Not sure which colors of what I'm using, but here we go. I think it will be gorgeous grape with the roses because that is what or with this rose anyway. Not sure there is a gorgeous grape rose on the paper that fits this other frame right now. But I know 
there is one of these. Put that right there on the fresh Parisia. And one of the larger ones. We'll also do a fresh freesia for now. Trying to figure out if that's the one it goes with. Exactly how it fits. That's close enough. And while we're doing this, we might as well try to get out some leaves. I do not want to put two dies too close together. So I don't know that leaves are going to work this time around. I also think I still have some of those in my um, stamp case. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Some of the little flowers came out just the way I was hoping. Okay, so now round two. There's another gorgeous grape rose. And a gorgeous grape, one of these. I don't know that we're going to use everything we're cutting out, but we will see. Hello, Moto. some leaves if I didn't just drop the leaf die. I think I may have just dropped the leaf die. Let's see if I can find it. Found that one fairly quickly. Now we'll see if this works because, in order for something to cut out from the die cutting machine, the entire die has to be cut on both. We have both cutting plates. So if you don't want to cut the whole thing, you can just leave part of it out. But this is going to be difficult since we have one at the top and at the bottom. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's not going to cut at all. Now 
And that's all the cutting I'm going to do. So I'm going to move my stamp and cut and emboss. And then the plates. And then we'll just see what we have. Okay, we got this little one, put them in my pile of flowers, and then my other flowers over there, okay, and I have another rose. my dies away before I lose them all. There's my leaves, and I will need to finish cutting out my larger flower. Now what I use to cut out are reverse scissors, where they start out closed like this. And when you open them up, it opens both, and you just use it works better for me to just use my palm and it also works better for me to move the paper and not my scissors so much There we have my pile of flowers, and I think in this stamp block I have some more leaves. Yes, I do. I don't know what we're going to use, but I'm going to put them out. Now we're going to start putting the card together. And I was going to show you that when you order blender pens, you get a set of three. You come in a box like this, you have three. All right, so let me fold my card I'm using my fingernails to crease the top this is a four and a quarter by five and a half I have a piece of the perfectly pencil designer series paper that I'm going to glue to the front of this Card, and I'm going to color in some of those flowers in the brush freesia before I start putting all my other flowers on there. And on the inside, I have another piece of Desire Series paper from the Hues of Happiness designer series paper which is what we've been working with today and these are just swatches of color and this is the purples 
Now, I pulled out my Fresh Freesia marker. Where did I put it? That would be helpful to have if I'm going to color this in. Ah, oh, silly me. I need to just keep stamping in the basement. Or at least I know I've carried things down there. And by shutting my computer, I can no longer see what you see. Okay, there we go. Um, hmm. I do not see what I did with it. So maybe we're not going to color right now. We're not going to color right now. I might add some color later, but we're just not going to do it because I don't know where. Oh, got it. It's because I was looking for one single marker, not the entire set. All right. And so I'm going to add some color to some of the root flowers on this perfectly penciled paper. This designer series paper is perfect. It's just looks like hand-drawn images that you can then add whatever color you want to them or not. And one of the exciting things, you can either use markers, which is what I'm doing, or if you don't have markers and you just have ink and blender pens, I'll show you what you can do with those as well. Take your ink and then press it on the center so that you are transferring ink to the, right here, making yourself a little palette. And then grab a blender pen and pick up the ink and then can transfer it to your image. So that's another way to add color to your images with the blender pen and Bring that off and put it away. Like I think putting things away will help me find them, but you know, maybe someday. And then I'm going to stamp the sentiments on this card, and then we're going to put our little pile bouquet of flowers together in the center. I want to stamp a sentiment right there, which means I want one of the shorter sentiments. Let's see if this will fit. Wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. Yes, that will fit right there. to get my stamp block cleaned up. And I'm going to stamp it with gorgeous grape ink.
for this grape. sentiment on the outside and then I'm going to choose one for the inside of the card as well. I think we'll make this a birthday card. Could make it a congratulations card but I have some birthdays coming up. So, I'm going to want it right there. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the diagonal on my block. That's the best way it fits. Make sure I stamp it right side up. how I want to put my bouquet of flowers together on there. Some of them I will just glue down. Some of them get popped up with dimensionals. I'm going to start by gluing down the larger gorgeous grape flower and I'm just putting glue in the center of it. So if I want to put things underneath the edges, I can. And the same with the larger brush freesia. Stick some glue on the back of some leaves and just slide them under. One more set of leaves if I have them. I start with the smaller flowers and try to figure this out. I don't know that I'm going to use all of them. But I do think I'm going to start popping some up on dimensionals. Did 
just add a little extra something. And what I'm going to glue some glue to this petal so that the whole thing will stick better. And then I'm thinking one more rose, but I don't know where. I was originally thinking about putting one under there, and I think I will do that. I hate it when I second guess myself and it's too late, but that's alright. And now to add some glossy dots in just the purple. I'm just going to add a few up here. You can do whatever you want, however many you want. Um, they say that in the design world, things that are in odd numbers make it look better. Let's see. Oh dear, I'm, I need that. One more flower to make it odd. What shall I do? Let's add one of my light fresh freesia roses that I stamped and colored with the blender pen. Right, hiding right there. Okay, there we have an odd number on both the front with the flowers and with the glossy dots and I think I'm going to add just a couple of the roses on the inside of this card. I am going to add all three. So there was nothing wasted that we created. There never is anything wasted. It's just saved for later. But here is the front of our cart that we created today and the inside. I hope you enjoyed our first card with the Happiness Abound stamp set. That's what we'll be working with the entire month of July. And I'll be back here with another Happiness Abounds card next Thursday at 2 o'clock. See you then.